water bonsai. Here's the materials needed. Amazing powder grower. Tap water from your faucet. 1.5 liter of empty bottles. Plant cuttings. Scissor or cutter. Masking tape. Use styrofoam and or rubber mat. Used bottles or new containers. Decorative materials or ribbons. And last but not the least, pebbles or colored stones. How to make water bonsai. Here are the procedures. First, you have to fill the container with tap water. Second, mix the powder grower with 1.5 liters of water to make the bonsai solution, as shown on the video. Shake it well for 30 seconds or so. Leave it for at least 24 hours until all crystal powder settles at the bottom of the container and until the water solution becomes clear. Then you have to open the water lid to get rid of the after smell from the solution. Here's shown before and after 24 hours. Pour the solution into the cleaned bottle or container, leaving the sediments or residue at the bottom. If there's residual leftovers, refill it with water so that it can be used for maintenance or to water the bonsai. Let the newly cutted area dry first for a few days. Do not soak in the water directly to prevent it from rotting as shown in the picture. Wrap the plant cuttings with styrofoam enough to cover the bottle opening to prevent mosquitoes from breeding inside. Then when you put the styrofoam in the masking tape, make sure that you have to put a spacing in between so that the water can freely flow when watering the plants. To ensure that the masking tape is tightly rolled out, put it in between your legs like in the picture shown. Insert the cuttings into the bottle with at least 1-2 to two inches immersed in a bonsai solution. Put decorative materials or ribbons outside or at the neck of the vase to cover the styrofoam holding the cuttings. Put some pebbles or colored stone at the top of the vase for added beauty and to conceal the styrofoam. Observe it every day to check it if the water changes its color or becomes unclear. If this happens, change the solution right away. Spraying the cuttings with the solution is highly recommended to speed up the growth of leaves and small stems.